let's get into some prayer. Let's get into a moment. If you have any essential oils that you really love, um, I invite you to go get them. If you have any sacred objects like crystals, like I said, I pulled a few crystals for us here. Um, go and grab them now, okay? This is not a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am reading. This is like we have to do the spiritual work to actually be able to download the messages. And that's, you know, the lesson in my readings is that it doesn't come easy and fast. It comes when you are open and when you decide to be fully present and here for it. So be fully present and here for it. And I invite everyone to find a comfortable seat right now, wherever you are. And... Perhaps you wiggle your tushy down onto wherever you're sitting or if you're lying down, you take a few exhales and just feel yourself melting down onto wherever you're laying down. And I invite everyone to bring their hand to their heart space at this time and just start to find your breath. Find your breath. Find yourself. And let's find our ocean's breath, our Yamaya breath, which is in through the nose and out through the nose. Don't cheat yourself out of this moment. In through the nose and out through the nose. You will know that you have channeled your Yamaya breath when you hear that steamy sound in the back of your throat as you exhale. The waves coming in with that inhale. Waves going out with the exhale. And just finding yourself here in this moment. Finding the pleasure of your breath finding the pleasure of your presence in and out, in and out. Hmm. Hi self, finding yourself here in the waves, maybe acknowledging some of the fucked up feelings you've been holding on to this week, or maybe some of the things that you've been going through growing through and just sending yourself some love taking the time to just send yourself some love as you continue with your breath your ocean's breath in through the nose and out through the nose and now maybe bringing your hands to a part of your body where you've been feeling a lot of tension it could be your throat it could be your belly so bringing your hands to a part of your body that's been hurting, going through changes, and just rubbing it, continuing with your ocean's breath there. Maybe now we open the mouth and make an exhale. As you rub and give attention to that part of your body, maybe it's your womb space, Maybe it's your prostate, maybe it's your spine, you just lay your hand on your lower back. Whatever part of your body has been feeling a lot of tension, just breathing in and out of that space. And letting it go. Sending love and gratitude to your body. If there's another part of your body that's been feeling tense, bring your hands there. Breathing in and out of that space. Finding the love, finding the vibration to heal yourself. Beautiful. Maybe now you just move your body in whatever way feels good for you. It could be a little spine twist. It could be stretching your arms, opening your heart. Not forgetting your breath, rolling your shoulders, moving your hips. Making space in the body to receive. Making space in the body to receive. 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And at this time, I would love for you to bring up for yourself. You can even speak to the screen, speak out loud, speak to your plans, speak to yourself. And just kind of let go of some of the things that have been stressing you. What's been stressing you, what's been bothering you. And just speak it out, laying it down on Mama Gaia, on Mother Earth. We're going to be using two decks, the Energy Oracle card deck, and we're also going to be using the Remix Your Life deck, which is the deck that I've created, that so many of you are waiting for to come out. I think I need to send myself to the beach to work on illustrations. And I just ask my spirit guides the energy that walks with me that is in the light to help me to relay the messages that we most need now as a collective to help us to get through these eclipse energies which will be lingering to help us get through this summer which we have two more eclipses coming up may this reading provide us with comfort may this reading provide us with insights and wisdom to move forward may this reading be powerful and loving. May it also nurture me as I nurture those who are listening. Ashe. Marefunya Maya, Marefuno Shun. Oh. And I got this candle yesterday to help to understand and kind of not dissipate these eclipse energies but to help me to transform these eclipse energies into the most powerful and positive thing and so i'm lighting it now for all of us wow yeesh this is interesting this is definitely interesting what's coming up for us here where do we begin so we've got a bunch of cards here that are pretty heavy cards I have to say they're very very heavy heavy cards uh, the first thing that I want to address and I'm gonna grab a crystal for this because we got the color green we got the heart chakra so I'm gonna grab some malachite and oh my god I'm forgetting what this one is but this is great to connect the heart and the belly, which is what we need now. Okay, so the first card that I want to talk about is the heart chakra. Many of us right now are dealing with issues of the heart. It could be heartache. It could be dealing with heart expansion, making room in our heart for something new or someone new. Okay. Be patient with yourself, be patient with your heart space. Also protect your heart at this time, okay? Protecting your heart at this time. There's gonna be, wow. In the past, there were certain issues and things that made us kind of shut down our heart in certain ways. It could be like, you know past issues of dealing with jealousy with other people around you or um, dealing with issues of deceit or sadness when it came to love and that could have caused us to have these heart wounds but right now is not the time to get stuck in the past okay it's only it's a moment to use the past as a reference so that way we know how to better empower ourselves going forward but it's not to like calcify your heart or create uh, a shield around your heart where love cannot penetrate or where you're too afraid to share in love okay also the heart chakra card it relates not only to the heart but also to the skin to your hands to your lungs and to your ribs okay a lot of our grief gets stuck in the lungs okay so if you've been grieving a lot lately it's even more important for you to breathe 
and to release so that way these energies do not get stuck in these vital vital areas of the body okay make space for love when you breathe make space to release childhood suffering and traumas as we as i hold the apophyllite which is so good for that There's a lot of stuff from our past that we're dealing with right now when it comes to our heart and how we're sharing and how we're protecting ourselves. And it is gonna require a lot of patience. We have the patience card here, okay? The growth that you've asked for when it comes to your heart and to how you love and how others love you, it's actually here now. But now is the time where you have to be most, most patient, okay? You have to be most patient. And we have the deceit card under here. And what I'm feeling with this deceit card is it's not so much about others deceiving you, although for some of you it may be that, okay? Others deceiving or being deceitful with you. But most importantly, I want you to keep in mind in how you can be deceitful with yourself. What lies are you continuously telling yourself, okay? What is it that you're lying to yourself about? Okay, what is it that, what parts of your self-esteem, okay, and, you, and how you view yourself is actually allowing you to lie to yourself as a form of protection somehow. Okay, remember that the universe will have a hard time sending you honoring experiences and people if you are lying to yourself, if you are being deceitful about what you need or about who you are, okay? Also, for some of you, there may be people who are spreading rumors or talking shit about you, okay? Things that are being hidden. So be aware of what is going on in your life. It's a good time right now to watch your money, okay? Watch your good name and make sure that you have all the information that you need to keep things honest and secure. Okay, if you are also in a situation where you have been deceiving yourself or allowing the energy to be deceitful around you, sometimes we close our eyes to deceit because we're too afraid to move forward or to walk through things in love and light. And yes, there is the darkness, but sometimes you have to shed the love on things so that way you can be really savage with it. Sometimes that's the most savage thing to do is to throw love on it. There may be some situations also that you will have to walk away from, and it is okay to walk away from these things at this time, okay? Don't feel like you have to stay there to even prove something. Sometimes you throw some fucking love on it, and then you get the fuck out, okay? This card is letting us know that, the walking away card, that it is okay to go through. She's here with this at this gate, it is okay to walk through the gates, okay? And you might take a glance back, but it doesn't mean that you're gonna go back, okay? Remember, the past card, we do not wanna get stuck in the past and we don't wanna walk backwards, okay? You don't wanna, you wanna stop deceiving yourself even about like the value of what it is that you're walking away from, okay? Yeah, sometimes the most savage thing you can do is throw love on it. You know why? Because people don't expect that shit. Sometimes we don't even expect that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like people would expect for you to come back and be deceitful. People would expect for you to come back and be vengeful and nasty. But if you throw fucking love on it like a bomb and you just walk away, that is a very empowering thing to do. Okay, this card, the walking away card, is also reminding you that the familiarity of a situation may be enticing, but right now, look at your options and the road ahead, the open road ahead, okay? And the reality that an important new beginning is at hand, okay? This card is also indicating that right now would be a great time to let go of old habits and ways of being, okay? Old emotional patterns, old false beliefs. And no matter how deeply ingrained these belief systems are, now is the time to walk away from them. Because that's part of the deceit. Do you get it? Do you get it? 
We deceive ourselves with the bullshit we tell ourselves. Oh, that's not possible because of this, or I can't do that because of that, or this, that, and the other. And it's like the only person being deceitful and lying to yourself is your own old narratives. Okay? No matter how deeply ingrained these negative patterns are, right now you need to know that you have the power to release it and move on to a freer, healthier way of thinking and being. A new, healthier way of relating to yourself and to others. Whether this is happening in your inner world or in your outer world, this card is telling you that you are ready and that you have the resources to move forward. To move forward. So maybe you want to make a note to yourself of ways that you have been deceiving yourself. What old shit do you still, like what old manual are you still reading? Maybe you want to write those things down and burn them. Okay? The other card that's coming out here is anxiety, the anxiety card. Many of us may have been feeling a lot of anxiety. And part of that is because we're living in a very volatile world and we're experiencing a lot of things through the internet that we normally wouldn't see. Um, and some of it is because we're still living in the old ways and we're still reading the old manual and we're still living in that space. This card is all about dealing with things that bring great discomfort. But this card is here to remind us that whatever it is that has been giving us anxiety or stressing us out, it could be financial things, it could be the unknown, it could be um, adjusting to a new job, a new relationship, or whatever it is. This card is letting us know though that this anxiety is, it's like a storm that was here, but now it's like off in the distance. So have comfort in knowing that this anxiety is floating away. This card is also reminding us that whatever it is going on, now is the time to release this worry. How do we release worry and stress? By breathing it out, by laying on the earth, by asking spirit to take it away, by smudging ourselves with smoke and getting rid of some of that stuck energy that is around us okay brooding and anxiety is never going to resolve things so trust in yourself trust in the process trust in the great spirit that you are moving forward okay and when we live with a relaxed heart and mind we're far more likely to find the solutions okay and receive the solutions than if we're if we're allowing ourselves to live in anxiety Part of what's going to relieve this anxiety is walking away from those things that keep holding us back. Those old thought patterns, those old ways of being. This reading is really telling us that what was in the past, or even what's in the recent past, we have the power to move away from it. We have the power to really go forward. But we have to decide. You know, we have to decide. Um, it's like thinking that you're stuck in, 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 a, in a, it's like thinking that you're trapped in a cell and being so stressed out that you're stuck in this cell, but then the moment you touch the cell door, you realize that bitch has been open the whole time. <laughs> like, <sighs> yeah, that exact feeling. It's like, wow, the whole time. It's been open the whole time. That's what this reading is telling us. Do not deceive yourself by staying in that locked position. Okay? The other card that we have here is the hostilities card. I mean, this is this reading. I've never had a reading, a group reading, where it was this clear. That there's a lot of powerful... These are, I want to say, rough energies, but they're also very aggressive energies, and that's why many of us are feeling the way that we're feeling. The scars from those past storms linger for so long sometimes. They're, they, they do linger for so long sometimes, and it's traumatic. If you've ever been through a hurricane, if you've ever been through you know, a natural disaster or something like that, that experience, it changes you. And it does linger, and the effects linger. 
But at the same time, we can see the blessing of that transformation. We have the hostilities card here. And this card is showing a man, he's like, has his sword, he's ready to fucking go into battle. Okay? <clears throat> and this card is letting you know that, yeah, many of us are going through host hostile energies. There may be motherfuckers coming for you. And you might not, it might not be so outright in your face, but behind the surface, people could be energetically hating on you or wishing you not the best. Um, talking shit about you again like what I said it may be verbal emotional it may be someone in your environment okay somebody who's being excessively critical to you demanding or hurtful this could be in a work situation it could be in a family environment okay backstabbing or like all right slander okay this is different from the deceit card because the hostile energies are more apparent and more overt so this is why I feel like this deceit card is more about how we are deceiving ourselves, how we're not being real. And maybe we're not even being real with like how the people around us are being hostile and how they're actually being aggressive and not nurturing to us. This could be whether this is a new energy or an old energy, now is the time to regain control. Allowing dishonoring treatment from others is an open invitation for more. Okay, when you allow somebody to energetically be abusive to you, you're allowing more. Now, sometimes it's not so outright. Okay, let's say it's not outright, but you feel it. As a bruja, I know what motherfuckers are talking about me. I, I hear it before it even gets to my ears. But because I'm a good witch, people start singing like canaries after a while. I'll tell you that right now. I'll be like, damn, I can really tell that so-and-so is talking shit about me damn but i've only ever been nice to this person and then sure enough a few months later even maybe a year later somebody will come and start singing like a canary and will let me know so what i, I say that to say that when you feel it address it how do i address it there was one person that i knew was talking shit about me and you know what i did for her i fucking wrote her name down and i started praying for her so when you know people are talking shit or being hostile, aggressive, what did I just say? Throw fucking love on it and walk away. You pray for that person. You send them fucking, you ask, you ask the light to go and soothe their soul. To go and help them. I'd be like, simmer them the fuck down, please. Let's send them love and simmer them down. Okay? And if somebody is being aggressive to you overtly in your face, okay, then you let them know. There's a few things you can you can do. If they're talking to you in an aggressive way, sometimes you don't even know what to say right away, but you can just be like, you know what? You can't talk to me like that. That's my favorite shit when somebody comes out their face to me. You can't talk to me like that. Like regardless of how you're feeling, you can't talk to me like that. Or that's not acceptable for me. Like no we're not gonna do that no you're not gonna talk to me like that what about when you treat people with nothing but respect and integrity and they still act shady that's when you need to like energetically cut them off that's the walking away card you need to energetically cut them off don't deceive yourself into thinking you're gonna change people but you need to like shut it down people need to not have access to you anymore okay and you need to just pray for them and ask great spirit to simmer them the fuck down and to send them all the way over there so they can transform and do their their fucking dark night of the soul by themselves okay protection protecting yourself praying over yourself smudging yourself asking spirit to bring you into alignment with love so that way you're not even on that frequency with those people okay I hope that answers your question. You know, people will be, do you comfort, tell them what's up, ask them what their problem is. Oh, confront. Sometimes, you know, sometimes I had to ask somebody one time, like, are you mad at me or are you mad at yourself? Like, what is, what is it here? Like, let me know. If you're mad at me, tell me why. If you're mad at yourself, I'm going to pray for you. But that's when you have to walk away. You have to walk away. You cannot allow it. Like, you're not here to 
be a punching bag, an energetic punching bag for someone else. You're not. That is not going to help you to help the world. It's just not. And it's crazy because sometimes the people that are the most mean to you are the people that you show the most love to or you've opened up to or you've let in. It's happened to all of us. But it's up to us to not deceive ourselves and be like, oh, but they're such a good person. Mm, maybe they are a great person. They're a good person. They have their ugly moments. But let them solve that over there. And also check yourself. You know? Are you fanning the flames of hostility? Okay? Are you also talking shit about somebody else or fanning these hostile flames of being competitive, comparative? And if you are, check that within yourself. Let's pull a few more cards from the Remix Your Life deck. But yeah, the energies are rough and people are acting out. People, this, this is what this reading is telling me. People are acting out. And if you're a sensitive Sammy, you're feeling it. Mm. We got the cocoon card. We got the cocoon card. Reversed. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, how many of you have been feeling really tired this week? Very tired. Wanting to sleep, wanting to nap. And how many of you have felt guilty? For not being productive or not doing what the fuck you need to do, allegedly, right? We have the sleep card. The sleep card is reminding you to shut it down. Shut it, shut it down. Sleeping is the greatest form. I think it was like the Dalai Lama that said, sleeping is the greatest form of meditation. When we sleep, we work things out. When we sleep, we can receive new messages. So right now is a great time for you to honor your rest. Honor your rest. Live in the dreamscape. Go to sleep and ask for messages. Go to sleep and ask for divine healing. Okay? Go to sleep with the intention of, I don't, this is being productive. Sleep is productive. It is only here in this country because we are, I think, the biggest, you know, we'll sleep when we're dead, you know, rise and grind. I'm not rising and grinding for shit. I'm going to rise and live in glory. I'm going to rise and live my goddess self. I'm going to rise and be of service. I'm not going to rise and grind. So start to shift those perceptions. Maybe in the past, you didn't allow yourself to sleep and rest. This card is telling you to honor your rest. Have you been running yourself ragged? Have you been pushing yourself to the point where you can't even let yourself rest? Has your anxiety been keeping you from sleeping? Check in with yourself. Start to create rituals around sleeping. Sleep without guilt. Teach your children to sleep. Teach yourself that your rest is so important. Money is always going to come. Opportunities. Shut it down. Okay? And I personally value my sleep so much. But even this week, I felt like, oh, shouldn't I be? Shouldn't I? And then I'm like, no. Go the fucking lay down, girl. Go lay down. Go take a nice nippity-nappity. Okay? Go take a nice fucking nap. The other card that's coming out here for us is the cocoon card. And this card is telling us that it is a time of inner transformation. Okay? It is a time to block out other energies and to be with ourselves. It's a time to retune, to reconnect. It's a time to keep the energy within and allow it to transform and not be so much on the giving. Because right now... It seems like a lot of the people that may be around have been bringing anxiety, maybe even hostile energies. Maybe you've been giving so much of your energy to people who are not being appreciative of it. They just think you're an abundant, you're an abundant being with so much energy to give and give and give and give and give and give. And give. But meanwhile, you're like becoming shriveled and dry. 
So check in with yourself. The cocoon card is calling you to be patient. Transformation requires patience, okay? It doesn't happen overnight. And this is part of the walking away. It's gathering yourself. What ways have you been giving yourself away? What ways have you not been creating healthy boundaries, okay? And sometimes with the cocoon, you just, even when you're in a partnership, okay, or you have children, or you have a very demanding work schedule, you need to know how to be like, okay, everybody, I'll be back in like 24 to 48 hours, but right now I'm in a cocoon. Like start to say that for yourself. The cocoon also saves you when it comes to dealing with people who are deceitful or deceitful energies or anxiety because it gives you a chance to collect yourself. Sometimes I need to go into a 24 hour cocoon where I'm like, I'm not answering emails, I'm not answering text messages, I don't care what the world needs from me because right now I need to get my shit together. I need to get myself together. I need to go into my cocoon. And in that cocoon, I can evaluate. Hmm. Is that person being genuine? Is this really what I want to do? Is this really where I want to put my spirit? Is this anxiety that I'm holding on to a real concern or am I overthinking? Am I living in the ways of the past the fears of the past is that what's holding me back so sometimes the cocoon is not just like a whole long thing sometimes the cocoon is something you need to do when you need to do it and it is okay okay sometimes you need to tell your man or your woman or your mama or your kids hey and you know what that's so empowering i need that cocoon but then i feel mad guilty no the cocoon is the most empowering thing the same way that sleep is the most empowering thing. You have to not, if you're available for everyone all the time, then you're telling yourself that you're not available for you all the time or at all, really. And that, that is healthy selfishness. That is self-dedication. That is self-care, self-love, self-awareness. If you don't check in with yourself, you cannot be fully present for others. And then you're telling yourself that the world is more important than you are. And that's not true. Let's pull two more cards. Ooh, this is a good one. So we have the cornucopia card. Now, when we walk away, when we prioritize our recovery moments, when we're patient with ourselves, when we ride these cycles, okay? When we understand the need for rest, separation, okay? Creating these boundaries where hostilities and negative energies they might be there, but they can't penetrate. When we do that, we unleash a new kind of abundance. We have the cornucopia card. This is wishes fulfilled, okay? When we receive this cornucopia card, it's letting us know that we've been doing important work and that it is about to pay off. The seeds that we have planted in the form of our energy, okay, in our life, they're about to be ready to be harvested in a very significant way. So get ready for a feast of abundant value, okay? Get ready for abundance, get ready for new opportunities, get ready for newness, okay? This is spirit applauding our efforts. But before this happens, we have to put certain energetic things in check, okay? We have to. The other card that we have here is the woman holding a gold coin. And this card is signaling that there could be feminine energies that are going to come into our lives to support or give assistance in regarding to issues that we're dealing in our life. She can be there to give us financial advice, to give us some new opportunity, 
okay helping us where we how we make our money either way this card is letting us know that the divine feminine is showing up to to help us move into this next realm so be on the lookout for those feminine energies beautiful oh and if you haven't visited my new website healingthroughthehome.com please go there um it's a brand new space to share and i have a brand new summer offering that's happening here in new york city on roosevelt island i'm calling it a spiritual picnic where we can chill out and ground and breathe and we can implement a lot of yummy techniques that will be sure to empower you and leave you inspired. DM me, message me, find me and I'll see you there.